What's up, Key Family? We back at it again with another video. And if you haven't subscribed, then what are you doing, though? If you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you've been here before, then welcome to Heck Back. Now, I know y'all see something look different. It's giving. It ain't nothing. Cut that off. Snip, snip. But anyways, yes, y'all, I cut my hair. Everybody on TikTok and Facebook were so shocked about my hair. Um... So, this video is going to be explaining to y'all why I cut it off. And we're also going to be doing my makeup and do like a little girls talk while I do my makeup. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, so first and foremost, if y'all didn't know, one big reason why I cut my hair off was because I was going through depression. And I know, I know, I know. Y'all probably like, Key, why were you going through depression? Why were you feeling like that? Y'all, I've just been going through a lot as a mom. Like, first of all, my husband is not here. As y'all know, they sent him back on deployment. So that's a sucky thing. Um, Don't mind my lighting to y'all. My vanity mirror is in the shop because one of my speakers on my vanity went out. So I'm using my two lights plus the light on my camera. So I'm sorry if the quality is not as good as it used to be. But, um, yeah, so I was, I've been going through it, y'all. Like, he went back on deployment, and now I just feel like I'm all alone. Like, I just be sad all the time now, and it's really crazy because it's like, girl, you need to get yourself together because you have kids, you know? Yeah, like I was telling my husband, um, I basically felt like, um, I have no personal identity anymore. Like, um, all I do is be a mom 24-7. Like, I don't know what my style is. I don't know what I like anymore. Like, it's just like I'm doing the same routine over and over and over. And a lot of people think just because you're a mom, you're supposed to hold it together. You're not supposed to have any emotions. Like, you're just supposed to be smiling all the time. And that's really not the case. Like, I was going through depression really, really bad to the point where... Um, I wouldn't even cry no more. Like, it would just be like a suck it up type of thing. Like, I would tell myself, just suck it up because at the end of the day, nobody wants to hear you. Like, when nobody wants to hear your problems, just suck it up. And that's what I used to do. And it got so bad to the point, like I told y'all, I was depressed. Um, I felt like my hair was holding bad, like, negative thoughts um, within it. And it was just too much going on for me at the time. So, the... Closest thing to not losing my mind was to cut my hair. So, for the ones that did miss me cutting my hair on live, because I cut my hair on live, you guys, um, I will insert a clip, which is right now. I'm getting so emotional, y'all. I needed to do. Let it all out. Let it all out. I'm about to be so bald. <laughs> yeah um that is me cutting my hair and i did cry um for the ones that asked me what did my husband say about it he was very supportive um he told me do whatever he fit like i feel is best for me and he loved the whole outcome of my um new look so yeah my husband loves it he even got me to see him some um selfies of me with my new look and put it at his lock screen so yeah, um, yeah, it was very emotional for me, y'all, because I have never, um, 
I've never cut my hair this short before. Like I've did um my bad y'all if I keep saying um because I'm I'm keep trying to catch my train of thought. I'm sorry. But I have did short hairstyles, but not this short. Like my shortest was a bob. And that was like to like I think like right here. Because my hair was right here and I cut it up here. And this time it grew back here and I just chopped it all off. So this is the shortest I've ever had my hair. And I don't regret it. Like, I thought I would wake up this morning and regret it, but I don't. So, yeah, that's the T on that. The second reason why I cut my hair was because this side of my hair, like, it was starting to get heat damaged. Like, my curls was looser on this side than this side. So, I was like, shoot, if I'm going to go big, I might as well go big and go and don't go home, okay? So, I just end up chopping it all off, y'all. So, that is the reason why I cut my hair for everybody in the bike, okay? So now, since we got all the sad stuff out the way, let's get into some girl talk. Don't mind the little snoring in the back. Um, As y'all know, let me stop saying, uh. Anyways, as y'all know, V3 is in the back sleep, so don't mind that. But the girl talk is that I want to discuss is why are females nowadays they would literally pick their dude over a person they've been friends with for years. But why would they always pick a dude over their friendship that they known for years for a dude that would dot, literally dot them out and make them look crazy and have them looking stupid in front of their friends, but they'll pick him over their friendship. Like, I'm just not understanding. I don't have so many, like, I had so many past friendships we fell out over basically that situation I just explained. Like, why do y'all females do that? And I'm not saying all females, but if you had this happen to you, drop it down in the comment section because mostly all the friends that I had is we stopped being friends because they just act like they couldn't live without the dude. And meanwhile, the dude is dogging them out. Like, I really don't be understanding that. Your friend has been there for you through thick and thin, and you sit there and sit around and pick a dude that don't even care about you that be using you, playing in your face, and you go back to him. But if your friend missed her one time, oh, you cut them right on off. Like, I don't understand it. Another thing is, y'all, why do females feel like they have to be what they do 24-7? Like, for example, let me give y'all an example. Say if we friends, right, and I ask you to go out to brunch, and we don't make these plans for a couple of weeks now, then the day come for us to go out to brunch, and we out to eat, and your man texting you, and y'all get into a heated argument, and you leave. How would y'all feel about that? Because I feel like that's really you chasing after a dude that don't even be sitting up there doing you right. They doing you wrong. And say this don't happen one time. This keep happening. Like, this keep re reoccurring. And I honestly just feel like, why would you do a friend like that? Like, why be friends with somebody if you know... All you want to do is be up under that dude 24-7. And I don't see how y'all do it. I'm married, and I still make time for my friends. Like, I still be wanting time for me to have girl talk or girl date or, you know, just girl time. But people feel like they cannot live without a dude, and I just don't understand it. Do not get friends if you can't leave your man for a couple of hours. Like, I really be so mad that I had to deal with that as a friend, like, that really made me mad. Like, I can see if it happened once. Okay, cool, I'm going to excuse you. But this keep reoccurring, like, this keep reoccurring, and you want me to feel bad? No, I'm sorry. And me piggybacking off of that, why when you fall out with a supposed to be friend of years, y'all just can't go y'all separate ways? You know how, like, people fall out, and then they just don't talk about the fallout. They just go on about their life. You got people that you think with your friend, as soon as y'all fall out, baby, they run to social media. They run to the net. They get to tell her everything. So since you want to did it, did it, like, I never understood that. Why would you sit on there or sit on there and go on social media and go run and tell my business like it was some tea to give anyways? Because, baby, whatever you told the internet, I promise I could have told myself, like... Girl, be for real. Like, I don't like them kind of people like that. They're them kind of people you can't trust. Them the ones that's been jealous of you the whole time, but I never, like, announced it. Like, now when y'all fall out, now they got all this animosity, and you this and you that, and you be doing this. Like, girl, I confide, I confide it in you to tell you my business, and the first thing you do when we fall out is go run and tell the internet. Yeah, you was hating. You was jealous. 
You were definitely jelly. I really don't know, y'all. It just always gave jellies. But another thing that I wanted to talk about was, um, hold on, y'all. I got to get the other one. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back, y'all. So another thing I want to talk about is jealousy is an ugly trait. Like, you would never expect people that you hang around or that's close to you to be jealous of you. Until, like I said, you fall out with them and they show their true colors. Like, don't never tell nobody your next steps because why? You got a person watching your every move and they wait for you to lose. Like, you think they want you to win? You know how they say your friends will clap when you win? No, some of them be jealous. I don't care what y'all say. People be having secret animosity nowadays. And that's why I keep my business to myself. Now, now y'all, when I have to vent or I want to vent, I don't really tell nobody because I don't have so many bad experiences with people that they, baby, they couldn't hold water if they had to. Like, they were so quick to tell my business and thought that it was going to hurt me and wanted to hurt me on purpose just so they can see me down or see me mad about it. And guess what? I didn't show them no type of emotions. I just let them have the situation. Because at the end of the day, karma's going to eat you up. And karma's going to get you. Better believe my God is watching over me. So, I'm going to just let you, let you have it. Everybody always be talking about revenge, revenge. You should have did this. You should. Y'all, when people do you wrong nowadays, do not do nothing to get them back. Don't, don't, don't get no get back. Let God handle them. And I had to learn that the hard way. Like, I used to do some, I ain't going to say no shisty stuff, but I used to get my get back. I'm not even going to lie to you. I used to be one of them people that get my get back. I'm just not going to sit here and lie. But then, once I met my husband, like, my husband really calmed me down to so many situations. Like, it's so many situations where I could have just really went in, you know, did my biggest one. But he always tell me, like, just, baby, just let them have it. Because at the end of the day, karma's going to get you. God's watching what you do. And he, I ain't going to cap. My husband did his biggest one when he told me that. Because when I be letting people have it now, baby, y'all don't even know what be coming after, okay? That's my little advice on things. Um, like I said, if you're going through depression, I'm going back to this topic and I'm going to get off for it for the rest of this video. But if you're going through depression and stuff like that, or you got jealous and fake friends, let all that hurt go, y'all. Let the hurt go. Let it go. Focus on yourself. Like, do what make you happy. Like, I know a lot of people be asking me, um, how do I get over a breakup and stuff like that? That's something else I did want to talk about, how to get over a breakup. My biggest thing I tell people, people be like, oh, get your get back, get your lick back. Like I said, getting your lick back is not going to do nothing for you. It's not going to do nothing for you. It's going to hurt the other person, but it's not going to do no healing for you. So your biggest thing to do after a breakup is to just focus on yourself. Find your peace, you know? Find something or a hobby or something that makes you happy. Like, start finding yourself again. Because if you're doing that get back and you're trying to hurt the next person, you're not doing nothing but hurting yourself because you're not moving on in life. You know, you get what I'm saying? But, yeah, y'all, this little girl talk, I really needed this. Y'all are my key family. So, you know, I be wanting to give y'all the tea on a lot of stuff. Now, I'm not one of them people that come on here and tell all my business. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I just can't do it. But when it's stuff like this, like me going through depression and stuff, and I know people are going through the same thing, I would love to give y'all advice on how I overcame it. One, like I said, was cutting my hair. That was my biggest thing because I felt like my hair was just holding bad energy, and it was just holding me back. Like, y'all don't even understand. This morning, I woke up. I didn't have to do nothing to my hair, okay? Do you know how good I felt about that? Yeah. So, that was one thing. And then two is now I'm getting back into finding myself. And when my husband get back, I'm going to be get back into the gym. I'm going to start back getting my nails and my toes did every two weeks. Like, I'm going to start doing stuff that genuinely, genuinely makes me happy. Like, my kids make me happy. Of course, they my kids. But, you know, every mom needs a mommy break. Every mom needs a mommy break. I don't care what nobody say. Uh, I have some exciting news for y'all. We are moving. We don't know where we are moving to yet but i definitely will let y'all know whenever we get the tea on that so we are moving we've been here for like i think i want to say like three years now and y'all i'm ready to get up out of here okay it's so boring here it's literally nothing to do like don't ever come to el paso okay don't ever come to el paso if you can choose any place choose any place but here 
Because, baby, being here is so depressing. It's so boring. It's nothing to do here. And, baby, don't make no wrong turn. Don't make no wrong turn on the interstate and miss your exit. Baby, you're going to be right up in Mexico. Y'all, one day, <laughs> let me get, let me tell y'all this quick little story. One day, I was um driving or whatever, and I forgot what I was doing. Like, I was paying attention to the road, but I think I was like, What'd you call it? Like gazing off or something like that? Whatever you want to call it. Daydreaming. But I, I was paying attention to the road. Y'all yeah, had on messed around and missed my exit. So I was like, I'm going to just get off at the next exit. Baby, why when I put in my to my maps to redirect me, they took me to the next exit. Baby, the next exit was heading out of the United States. I seen the sign that said, you are now leaving the United States. Oh, baby, I turned my car around so fast. Because I don't belong in Mexico. I don't know if y'all know that, but I don't belong there. Baby, I don't, I don't speak a lick of Spanish. Like, So the fact that it had took me to Mexico, well, it didn't take me to Mexico because so I, I ain't go in there. But the fact that it had redirected me to try to go in there, nah, baby, y'all ain't finna get me. Y'all, another exciting thing that um, is happening, not no time soon, but like later on in the future, is me and my husband have been planning on having another baby. Um, all my husband been talking about is he want a little girl. He want a little girl. He want a little girl. So I did tell him at first that we can have one when he come back. But as y'all know, I just told y'all my mental health is not together right now. And I'm not going to bring another baby into this world knowing that my mental health is not together. So, we're going to wait to have another baby. But, um, don't quote me on when. Don't don't go get asked in the comments when it's going to happen because I don't know. Can't tell y'all that because I really do not know. But it won't be no time soon, y'all. I'm trying to get my mental health back together. I'm trying to get my body right. You know, we gonna, like I said, we moving. So, I'm trying to get that together to find out what we moving to. It's just a lot right now. Too much to be having a kid, bringing another kid into this world. So, we're going to pause on that. <laughs> We're going to take a pause on that. But, yeah, later on in the future, we are going to have another kid. And, y'all, we already have, like, baby names from the boy to the girl. We got the first and the middle name already. So, whenever we do have a baby and we find out the gender and stuff, we don't have to worry about names because we already know what it's going to be. Also, if y'all didn't know, my man come home next month. Ow! Ow, ow! So that's another exciting thing that's happening soon. Uh, oh, excuse me, y'all. He come home next month. I'm sad he gonna miss Easter, but it'll be okay. Cause like we're not really doing nothing but like going to church, you know, getting us some um church in, and then they're gonna take some pictures. They probably do like an Easter egg hunt or whatever, and then just chill for the rest of that day. But my husband is coming home next month. I can't tell y'all the date, the time. You know, I can't tell y'all all that extra stuff because that's confidential. And that's risking his safety. So the people that be asking me, what day is he coming home? What day he's coming home? I can't tell y'all all that. Just when he come home, y'all will see. So that's another exciting thing. Also, we are, are um, we are going on vacation in the month of either June or July. We don't know yet. But my husband is taking leave um, briefly when he come back. So, y'all are going to be getting vlogs after vlogs after vlogs. So, that's why I be telling y'all. If y'all not tuned into Key Family, then what are you doing? Okay? So, yeah, that's another exciting thing that is happening. And, y'all, that is really tea on my life. Like, that is really what's been going on with my life. A lot of y'all been asking me how I've been feeling and stuff like that. Now, y'all, I feel a thousand percent better since I talked to my husband uh, um, I don't know if I told y'all this. I think I already said it. My husband was on the phone when I cut my hair. He was being my support system. So I feel a thousand percent better. Everybody loves my hair, um, which I wasn't really too much like worried about people's opinions or whatever. But I was just like, oh my God, like, how am I going to look? So, mm hmm. Goal this year is to actually find some long term, genuine friends that are on the same type of timing i'm on y'all i usually use like one of those little brushes to do this but we're just gonna use my finger but yeah to find some friends that are on the same type of timing i'm on like this year i want to travel more i want to get out more like i want to go out to eat with friends do like a little girls brunch like you know just stuff like that like i just really want to find me some genuine friends 
and this year i'm gonna make it that and i have met some people from tiktok that are gene with friends and we've been planning trips already they know who they are Y'all better make sure we go on this trip this year. I'm going to go by myself. Yeah, y'all, that is really it. That is really the tea. Like, that is really the tea. That's the reason why I cut my hair. Everybody been asking me, oh, my God, you cut your hair, your beautiful hair. Like, y'all, hair is just hair. It'll grow back. I'm probably going to do a three months, like, every three months type update with y'all and TikTok so y'all can see the growth of my hair. Because I'm excited for this journey. Like, I don't know if y'all are, but I'm excited to see how long and how fast my hair can grow um this is something like i told y'all i've been wanting to do for a very long time but i just been too scared and i feel like now was the best decision because the summertime is coming up and baby who had finna be hot <laughs> not mine but i am still gonna wear um wigs and stuff like that but of course i'm gonna rock my natural hair now that i can maintain it and keep it all good looking. But yeah, y'all. That is really the tea. Like, that is really it. Let me do my lips real quick. And then we're going to end off this video. Because I ain't got nothing else to talk about. Okay. But yeah, y'all. This is the finished look. I think I ate on this look. Sorry about the lighting. I told y'all my vanity is not here. But this is the look. Let's get into it. Yeah. But yeah, thank y'all for watching. Like I said, comment what was y'all favorite part about this video. Let me know if this helped anybody that was going through depression or been through depression. And comment down if you have any questions on anything you want to ask. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.